Okay, I just wanted to show you the secret to how um got that little illuminated bulb inside there. And um, what it is, is what I've done is I've bought two medical grade batteries. Each one is 1.5 volts. That gives me 3 volts, which is enough to light the LED. One battery isn't enough. You've got to overcome the, the LED's minimum voltage. So I got two uh, medical grade batteries and I got the, they're um, really nice and small, which is what I liked. And so, and I've, I've um, soldered an LED here with some leads to it. Let me light this up. See, so that's going to light up. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to wrap this in paper and paint it and then put a cone over it so what will happen is the cone lights up. And I also going to, to be able to activate it from outside the bulb without touching it, I've um, soldered this piece of, I don't know if you can see that, I've soldered this piece of little uh, steel onto the end of this which makes it magnetic. And then that way I can use a magnet to manipulate it around and what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a little setup so it will, the magnet will pull on it and it will connect and it'll light up the, the LED. So that's pretty interesting. I'm going to do some more and I'll show you how that goes. Okay, I just wanted to show you how the um, secret light up Dragon's Tower is coming along. This is it. This is the tower that's going to go in the front. I've got the batteries in there. It's all hooked up. I'm getting closer to finishing. Uh, I painted a little dragon on the front of it. And here, this is what's going to, what it's going to look like when it lights up. Can you see that? It's kind of... Oh, there we go. See how the tower lights up? Now, the only thing remaining to do is for me to make the little magnetic mechanism that's going to activate this. So, I'll get to that and I'll show it to you when I'm done. Okay, I just wanted to show you here real quick. I've been working on the tower, the lighted tower, and what I have here is something called the magnetic reed switch. And this is going to go inside the bulb, and I'll be able to activate it from... Oh, Cuckoo says it's 11 o'clock. Um, I'll be able to activate it from outside the bulb using a magnet. Now, what it is is, if you'll watch this carefully, as I get close with the magnet, the little metal, the little steel point in there moves. See it? And the light comes on. So, you know, that's a fun little addition. And that's called a magnetic reed switch. And what I have there is some stranded wire, copper wire, so it's um, flexible and it'll, it'll pull, it'll move with the magnet. And I have that soldered to a, uh, the, the point of a push pin, which is steel and magnetized and then the other conductor I have it forms a circle around it so no matter which way I go at it it'll pull on that pull on that copper wire and and cause the light to go on make the connection and cause the light to go on and you can see the tower I, I painted a little dragon on there so this setup with the magnetic reed switch is done that's the secret little light and I'm going to be installing that inside the, the bulb and then I'll be able to, I'll be close to finishing off the whole thing. I wanted to show you I have the Dragon's Tower in place and I have the little magnetic reed switch in place and that's all set and let me show you how that works. You can see the magnetic reed switch right, I have right here and what happens is when you you know get close to it with a magnet, I don't know if you can see that, but the little metal bar will pull yeah, and the light comes on. See? So, kind of neat. So we've got interaction with the uh, diorama even without getting inside there. So I wanted to show you the completed project here. I've got the castle all is in there, the clouds, I've got the, the bottle corked, uh, the dragons in there if you can see that. The little fire breathing dragon there attacking the castle and uh, the magnetic reed switch. Let me uh, get the magnet here. There you go. See how the light comes on there? So, that's a fun little project.